Hi, I'm Dijan. I'm going to share with you the series Free Expression. It's a sequence that works on the throat chakra, Vishuddha. On a gross level, this chakra helps us to improve our expression, the strength, the effectiveness, the truthfulness of our expression. Or it can amplify our artistic expression, be it through arts per se or through any activity in our area that requires our creativity. On a more healing side, it massages our thyroid glands, so it's an amazing asana for balancing our hormonal system and especially working on thyroid glands. And on a more subtle level, Vishuddha is a very precious chakra, a very high level of consciousness, giving us access to universal wisdom, knowledge, purity and freedom. Uh, freedom of expression in many forms and many different uh, subtle levels. So, we are going to perform the variations with props to make them very accessible for everyone. And yeah, let's do something good for ourselves and practice. with five Tibetan rites. I will show you very easy accessible variation of these rites. So instead of the first rite which is the rotation around the body, we are just going to keep our knees bent and have our arms rotating in a loose way around the body. Eight repetitions, so this is the fourth for me, five, six in both directions of course, seven, and eight. And that will do. The second right, we are going to perform on the floor, so find a gentle, easy way to go in a lying down position on the ground. And here the full uh, sequence is exhaling head and tail go up, inhaling they come down. Here you can do variation where you keep your knees bent and do this with your knees bent. It will give less pressure on your abdominal muscles. Five. Keeping the breath flowing, exhale, six. Seven and eight. And relax. Observing the effects. And for the third right, I will roll to one side and find the smooth, gentle way of coming into a seated position. Here I want to use some props. For the fourth, uh, for, sorry, for the third right, how to use a pillow? Either we perform the posture in full, where we are on our knees with hip with a, which are hip width apart, hands on uh, the hips, exhale towards the chest, inhale up. And if that's not accessible, we're going to use a bolster in between our legs and sit on the bolster, exhale head down, inhale stretch, elbows are trying to point back, third performance, So I'm not going back from the waist. Observing the 
sensation in the chest area and the neck. And then removing the bolster for the next right. And lying on the ground with our feet on the mat, parallel, making sure that our shoulder blades are on the ground, that the feet are parallel, hip width apart, and lifting the hips up and bringing them down. sure that you're really stepping on your feet to support your body and going up vertebra by vertebra. Six. And do it in your own pace. So if that's too fast for you, please make it slower, although I have to warn you, slow may be more difficult. So find the pace where you feel the muscles engaging, you feel the strength of your bones, but it's not forceful. And make sure that you have as much time as your body needs in between the poses to give it a good rest. If there is any contraction in any part of the body after one sequence, make sure that your body takes time through the breath to let go of those contractions before you move on to the next one. For the variation of the last ride, I will use a pillow and the blocks. The blocks will help to uh, release some pressure from the wrists, so I can use them in any angle that feels comfortable for me, so that I don't put pressure on my wrists. And my knees are hip width apart. Exhale. Inhale. Big belly, head and tail go up. Exhale, head and tail go down. Inhale, head and tail go up. Exhale, feeling the spine stretching. Inhale. Core. And as your body builds up strength, you can increase the number. Keeping your attention in the throat area. with some static asana that works on the throat. The first pose, uh, the variation for the first pose is, I'm going to stretch out my left leg and the right foot will be across the left knee, holding on to my leg and twisting my lower back as far as it's comfortable. The hand in the back can help with keeping my spine Correct. Even my eyes under the closed eyelids are looking all the way to the right.
tension in the throat area. And that will do. Taking a moment to observe the effects. And performing the posture in the opposite direction. This time the left leg is across the right. And keeping the back straight, deep twist. Just open the tension in the area of the throat. Observe your state of being, your state of mind. And the next asana, I suggest that you perform at your house against the wall. Here I'm going to demonstrate it without the wall. With wall, it's super comfortable. We take your bolster and place it under our hip. Down the wall. Normally, this should be against the wall, and I'm resting my uh, hip on it and lifting my legs up. So I would be leaning my legs against the wall. The pose is called legs up the wall, and it's super comfortable. The attention is in the throat area. The bolster, the lifting of the hips, help the circulation and also the energy, the subtle energy, the prana, to move towards the throat. And finding a very relaxed breath. And slow and long exhalations. Here in this pose, the practice is less physical, more subtle in the mind. Instead of traveling everywhere, I invite my mind to remain centered, focused in the area of the throat. That's the real practice of yoga. And that will do for now. Feel free to perform this pose as long as you like. Seven, eight, ten minutes. It's super healing. The longer you do it, the better. And finding your seated position, you can roll to one side. Or using your core muscles, come up vertebra by vertebra. But now we will conclude our class with a practice of pranayama. Again, feel free to use your props uh, to find a comfortable seated position. For example, you can take a pillow and place it under your hips to lift the hips a little bit. You can use the blocks and place them under your knees if you have any issues. Or you can simply sit on a chair 
We won't be comfortable when we are doing pranayama. And we start with the ventilation breath three times, exhaling through the mouth, inhaling through the nose. chanting the vowel A according to our own breathing pattern so do it in your own rhythm uh, this vowel resonates with Vishuddha Chakra so it's not only the uh, performance of uh, chanting but also the vowel itself is working inhale big breath Thank you.